Okay, today is January the 10th, 2019. Uh, I got this just to test to see what the size is of this uh, software. Uh, but it is, it, it blueprints the date, time, even the time and location. Uh, looks good to me. Okay, uh, update for today for January. For January the 10th, 2019 would be following. Uh, the cigarettes which were used, uh, the cigarettes which were used for several days inside of the room, inside of the shower area, and not, as not as in the past, he would even go and hear the. It's illegal. It's criminal. It's a breach of house rules here. Uh, it's illegal. It's criminal. Uh, the thing is that. Not as in the past when he would go and ear the room, uh, he didn't bother at all this time. I mean, he would just, the room would be completely smoked deliberately and not the same cigarettes were used as in the past. These cigarettes would match somehow category, uh, category of, I think, like Marlboro, uh, the strongest cigarettes, I would say. There is a specific cigarette, and I think from Marlboro brand, if I'm not mistaken. The only thing I can say is that I am very, very allergic to that cigarette. Uh, it almost... The reaction, the allergy reaction which I have to the type of the cigarette, it almost matches... Uh, allergy reaction of the people who have allergy on 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 bee bites uh, what happens is it uh, it causes me severe pain in the throat uh, like immediately like not after days but immediately it it closes my nasal it causes nasal congestion and it goes straight inside to cause me uh breathing problems and so this morning i was spitting mocos uh pain in the throat and so on uh i think that if i would be exposed to this type of um, uh, cigarette for long enough uh i probably probably this cigarette like this probably would could probably even finish me off it probably could kill me this is how bad this kind of cigarette is. It's a specific cigarette. Slovenian government have used one in Slovenia in 2006 when I applied for jobs upon return from the U.S. What a coincidence, no? In 2006 and in 2006, upon return from the U.S. And in 2006, we were here in Grotniki. I was brought from the U.S. to Grotniki in Poland, no? 2005. And then in 2006, I returned from the U.S. And Slovenian government have used uh, this kind of cigarette to torment, to torture, in addition to a position uh, which they have created out of two positions on assembly line. Okay, imagine a Renault factory. Uh, believe me, people work very, very intensively on that assembly line. Now you take two positions, two work positions you take and you create out of two, one position and you place individual and you want him to fulfill uh, two positions on a daily basis. And I did fulfill that. And when that didn't work, they would come up with this kind of cigarette and there were signs listed, no smoking. And it was this kind of specific cigarette they would use workers and they would just smoke that straight into my face the same year in 2006 i'm pretty sure it was in 2006 and if not it must have been in beginning of 2007 but it was probably i would say in 2006 uh i did apply for a truck driving job in slovenia and i would go with an individual uh from my city to Poland on a ride with a truck. We would go and we would ride to the Warsaw from Kirka Pharmaceutical Company, which is located in the city of Novomesto, where I am. 
with a truck to the Kirka Pharmaceutical Company in Warsaw in Poland. Uh, we would pick up the stuff uh, and when we would be returning back, this individual who also was the same, it was just used to torture to create problems, uh, would not the same thing, it would play, it would blast the music, uh, would do crazy stuff uh, when we would return. Uh, the same thing he did, he would display the same kind of cigarette, the same thing, and I am very allergic to this kind of stuff, but what a coincidence, no? In 2006, on a first occasion, right there in the city of the Novo Mesto, and then in 2006, also, most likely, in the winter time, uh, going to Warsaw and then back, and the same kind of cigarette was used, uh, because I am allergic to a certain type of cigarette that can actually put me in grave. If you would lock me in a room and you go and you smoke with that kind of cigarette, you would not, you would, you probably would kill me. Uh, this just happens to be the case. And so this was the first impression about uh, this morning. Yesterday was bad, the day yesterday, but this morning became really bad. Uh, hopefully it's gonna get better. Now, uh, what is interesting also is, this is fascinating, under MK Ultra, they have suggested that um, it was, it well, anything I would do, it would be like accompanied with approval or disapproval of these residents. Uh, approval or disapproval. And there, uh, it would be like very, very opinionated on any kind of issue. Not that I would care about these opinions, because if I would, I wouldn't get anywhere. Uh, but uh, I would say that 95% of the people would. Now they became very opinionated per why is it that I no longer exercise. That's right, I no longer physically exercise for about a week. And I did explain why, because when you get an hour of sleep, when you get three hours of sleep, and when this stuff accumulates over time in you, is best to give up on a muscle exercises. You don't want to go and end up inside of the hospital, inside of the emergency room with, I don't know, with a heart surgery in the end. Uh, this precisely is why. Uh, this morning, again, uh, the same thing. Uh, sounds, it all started, it starts in the morning. Because, you know why? because I'm supposed to wake up at 5 o'clock and go and study, right? So what they do is they wake me up at 5 o'clock, they help me, uh, so I would go and study with radiation. So this is just the extra help, and this is how I should see that as. Um, so there is, a, there is a large disapproval because I no longer physically exercise here, but I can sh assure everybody that in Slovenia, uh, such a stubborn person I am, I would work on a single project deliberately depriving myself of fresh air till the project would be completed, documentaries and stuff like this, even for a month at a time, would not go out of the room till the project would be completed to my best. So if you think you can do stuff like this to me, just uh, think about this kind of uh, information. For me, this is like I don't really believe in America, but this for me, this is like America right now. This is like beautiful to me, uh, regardless of what's happening. So just a little uh, clue here, an idea about uh, what exactly you're dealing with. It's not going to be so easy, uh, whatever these people are up to. And of course, if I would continue to complain under MK Ultra, it was this. If you would continue to complain, they, then you can just forget about uh, our assistance in the whole thing. You would be tested. And how you would be tested? What well, through the bullshit we're going to do to you? You're going to be tested. And if you would continue to complain, then we're just not going to come forward with you. But I am glad because there is a place known as India Coromandia. Uh, India Coromandia is a fiction name. Uh, this was invented in Slovenia. It's got nothing to do with the India, <laughs> for one thing. 
other than uh, the whole thing is like Slovenian fiction about a magical place where uh, you don't have to do anything. All you have to do is you just have to go there and it's just a honey that is, uh, you know, everything is wonderful over there and free. You get everything, the best food, the best lodging. And you can do anything you want to do. It's called India Coromandia. And uh, on my blog, I have compared this to the Germany, which I am definitely certain uh, is impatiently waiting for this. Uh, let's say, I don't know, maybe endlessly uh, searching people uh, for a place like that. Because this is so... Uh, so naive this whole thing uh germany is the one that advertises abroad uh you know <laughs> their immigration services to the immigrants uh basically how much their social welfare is great and so on and when these people <laughs> come there like with the last dimes uh, the only thing that happens is they keep them over there for a little bit. Uh, they're heavily discriminated against. Then what happens is they are through the European Union uh, Parliament. <coughs> they are thrown across the border to Poland, Czech Republic, Slovakia. Uh, countries which somehow still resist uh, this new neo-Nazi wave countries which have paid tremendous huge price in the world war ii price uh price for the nazism for the german nazism uh and there is nothing you can do because they are inside of the european union and whether they like it or not now they have to accept these refugees who come from a place where they got i don't know they say these people know everything they have wives there and so on uh those that are like uh, working straight under mr valerio uh even up to like 500 euros per month per person i think uh this would be like i think 2000 zlotys just just and a place to stay just for you to sleep at home uh 2000 zloty this is already a salary here in poland i think a minimum wage or something like that actually it's more than a minimum wage but unfortunately they keep them over there only for a few months uh and uh unfortunately in the heads of these people the only thing that's left is the memory on uh you know on those 500 zloty uh and not the reality they don't understand that this is a trick that is used to screw them up and us here and everybody else in the whole Europe and the whole world. They don't understand. They fail to understand that. Uh, and that's what I call India Coromandia. Uh, in Germany, these people, uh, what they do with the people like this, the only thing they do is they, they send them up the chimneys. The same thing like they did with the Jews in the World War II. They're not really uh, someone German people would look forward to, uh, to have in their country. Um, AFD AFD is a brutal reality about the India Coromandia okay so that's a India Coromandia uh, these people want to go to uh, I guess rather than assist in this matter uh, nevertheless everything is wonderful here today is Thursday January the 10th, 2019. Thanks for watching this video. And bye-bye, whatever you are, from Grotniki, watch in Poland.